Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. This is the second part about the most important and popular apps in the Netherlands. And today I will share with you 11 more apps which you will definitely want to download and use if you haven't used them yet. And today I'm starting from important apps for the drivers and car owners. First one is Waze. We use them as our navigator here and we like the fun option of this program which allows you to change the voice which tells you where you go and it's sometimes very funny. And the second one is Fleetmaster, which tells you current speed limits, uh, because sometimes when you drive from Germany, for example, to the Netherlands, uh, the speed limits are different and you can be confused. And Fleetmaster works for Dutch and Belgian roads. The app number three is out and you can find the latest upcoming events and concerts and festivals in the Netherlands there and enjoy them. And if you are looking for a company and you want to make friends and meet new people here, you can use the Meetup app, which helps you to meet new people according to the interest and hobbies and location, of course. And also there is a very interesting app number four, which is called Patio 4. And this app was designed by an expert who created it for couples who want to find other couples to spend nice time together to go to a restaurant together to meet for a park picnic or to go sightseeing together or to rent a boat and have a boat trip together why not the app number six is social deal social deal reminds me of groupon the groupon website was super popular in poland when we live there and we used it a lot so it has really good offers at really low prices at almost all the attractions in the major cities of the Netherlands and also it has really good discounts on hotels check them out the app number seven is the Forex, and the Forex will help you to find nice discounts and nice offers in restaurants so combining those two apps the social deal and the Forex can help you to save quite a lot of money for your trips and restaurants. Let's continue with the topic of food and food delivery here in the Netherlands. So with Hausbesorgt, please correct me if I don't pronounce it properly. I know I, I, I think I don't pronounce it properly, but here is the picture of this app, Hausbesorgt, uh, and this is the most popular food delivery in uh, the Netherlands and funny fact is the same app the same company is called Pyszna.pl in Poland and the word Pyszna means uh, tasty so it's way simpler for me to pronounce it than the house bazaar but okay we use it and we love it and it is reliable and nice app with a lot of offers but there is another app which can be also useful for you which is Deliveroo and uh, some people say and people say that they have more healthier options but they are not available across the whole country while the first one the house preserved is available everywhere also you can find late night delivery options in house preserved and in the second one in delivery there are no late night options but i prefer to cook myself uh, this is the way i also can save money and i love to cook and i love to feed my family with a nice proper meal and sometimes it's hard to go shopping sometimes i'm just out of time or i have no resources or no energy to go shopping i really love uh, those options of food delivery directly from the supermarkets and the picnic is one of those apps which can be useful for this situation but apart from picnic you can also order food directly from supermarkets you can just uh, browse the supermarket you prefer and order food directly from them the app number 11 is Poshake. this app is for pet owners dog sitters and cat sitters this service is similar to airbnb and also the hosts have ratings so if you are a pet owner it's a super convenient way to leave your pet with someone you trust and uh, when when you are away and not able to take care of your pet also we are thinking about taking care of a dog 
and to walk with a dog for example because we do really want to have our own dog and I think it will be a great way to get used to take care of a pet at least to walk it and uh, to get used to and to make also kids get used to to having a pet around us. And the last but not the least app for today is Miranda. Miranda helps you to check the time difference with the person in any part of the world. And as far as a lot of people here in the Netherlands work remotely, they work in international teams, sometimes you get just confused about the time zones. So this app is super helpful in these situations. And currently I also have a project with a person from New York. Now I know that we have six hours difference. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that those apps I shared will be useful for you. And the first part of this video is in the description section below. Please share them with those your friends who are planning to relocate to the Netherlands or have just moved to the Netherlands. They will be super helpful for them. See you and take care. Bye!